it's Dr. Kadisha, your board certified emergency medicine physician. And the day is almost here. The day is almost here. The day is almost here. Launch day, book launch day. It's a day that's been 20 years, 20 years, 20 years in the making. And I'm trying to stream on Facebook and Instagram. Streaming on Facebook and Instagram. This is Dr. Kadisha, your board certified emergency medicine physician, getting closer to launch day, book launch day. A book that's been 20 years in the making. I'm your board certified emergency medicine physician and my ER and concierge care helps people feel better, be safer and better prepared for emergent medical situations. And y'all, I am tired. I'm so tired between working and getting ready for this book launch this week. Friday is going to be a party. It's going to be a party at 12 p.m. Central. So that's lunchtime for people in Houston. And for you people with good government jobs in D.C., maybe you can extend your lunch hour. Maybe you can extend that lunch hour and have some fun with me, hear my story as I discuss how you can help us help you <clears throat> in the emergency room. Help us help you in the emergency room. And I know that, you know, people have said, so, you know, who's going to buy this book? Who's going to buy this book? Um, you know, who's going to buy it? I don't ever get sick. I don't have to go to the ER. Well, it's for you and it's for anybody who has been to the ER and came away with confusion, frustration, uh, delays, things like that. This book is going to answer those questions for you and more. And the first part of the book talks about uh, how to get ready before you even need an emergency room visit so that it goes that much smoother for you or your loved ones. And if you don't think you need it, give it to a friend. Somebody, if you haven't been to the ER, someone you know has been to the ER, and you're probably going to end up going to the ER for one thing or another, be it for you or for a friend or a loved one. And <clears throat> we need you to help us help you get the most out of an ER visit. This book is for everybody, everybody, everybody. And we're going to have a good time discussing it on Friday. Uh, thank you, Deep. Hey, everybody. Uh, hi, Dr. Carol. I know it's late. Um, Dr. Dietrich, Dr. Tanya, thank you so much for coming in. Now, if you guys have any questions for me, uh, you know, just, just throw it in the chat. Just throw it in the chat. And, uh, you know, maybe I can discuss it with you. But in the meantime... I'll just give you like one or a couple little hints from the book. Uh, this whole thing is the book. It's in its baby form. It's not in the pretty form. Uh, you can order your pretty form at www.helpushelpyoubook.com. Hi, Dr. Uh, okay. Yeah, Dr. Diedrich. Hi, Mrs. Shine. Mrs. Shine is my sixth grade teacher she was the first teacher to really show me how strong i was as a student she changed my life uh dr tanya thank you so much yes this is the manuscript dr tanya was the one who kind of uh she coached the book out of me when i was getting tired and i thought that i'd had enough uh, this book had started off as a booklet in 2012 and i thought oh that was it i took a leisure learning course or was it leisure learning or if you're in the dc maryland area it was called what the learning annex and uh she taught us a class on how to um you know uh write a booklet and i thought that was enough i i thought hey you know i got this booklet it's really helpful thought you know thought it was enough but i'm finding out six years later 
that it isn't enough. It wasn't enough. I had a lot more inside of me to share with the world, and this book is going to help so many people. So anyway, so one thing, one, one uh, little tidbit I can give you from the book is uh, like, when is the best time to go to the ER? <laughs> when is the best time to go? Well, I'll let you in on something if you didn't know already. And uh, Flo Baker, one of my favorite nurses, she's in the chat. Uh, Nurse Flo, I loved her. I miss you, Flo. Uh, we switch, we tend to uh, switch over, like nurses and doctors tend to like around seven. So if you can get in there around maybe like 7.45, eight, after the the outgoing shift has given report to the incoming shift, you know, after they, it takes me about half an hour or so for them to really, you know, transition. If you can get in there like around eight-ish maybe, then you're more likely to catch a fresh doctor or a fresh nurse, meaning, you know, they 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 just got there, they're, they're, you know, they have the energy, you know, emotional and physical. They're at their highest level of emotional and physical energy to give you the best patient care and customer service. Hi, Flo. Thank you, uh, Flo. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. If, if I was a patient going to the ER, I would want to come in at around 8 o'clock when uh, there's fresh nurses on shift and there's fresh doctors on shift. Hi, John. Oh, uh, yeah, John Mitchell, owner of Fat Body Gym here in Missouri City. That's an awesome gym. Uh, thank you guys for coming in. So that's one, that's one little tidbit from the book. And the book is uh, broken up into parts. So the first part is before you even need an ER visit, before you even realize that you need uh, and you might not need an ER visit, but um, it's just little things to um, help you get prepared. So that's one thing, like when's the best time to go? If, you know, if you can wait, you know, or if you're, or just in case you were wondering, people always want to know, um, you know, when the best times to come are. Another thing is, uh, where is your nearest hospital? And yeah, you might see your hospital on the feeder, you know, on the way home as you're coming off the freeway. Yeah, you know, that's good. But do you know, do you know how to get to the entrance of the emergency department? Yeah, you see this huge, you know, this huge structure, this huge complex medical center, hospital, multiple buildings on the campus, and you might see that red and white emergency sign. But if you were having an emergency and you chose to drive, for better or for worse, if you chose to drive, would you know exactly how to get or how to get your loved one to that entrance? So one, um, yeah, so one thing I would say is, that's right, Flo, yes, doctor and reports are already, are, they're already taken. Yeah, come after report, because if you come too close to seven, you're going to be sitting there while the the oncoming and the outgoing nurses and doctors are giving report. You're just going to be sitting there uh, kind of watching them exchange information, important information, but um, now you'll know if you come in around seven, that's that might be a little bit of a delay for you. So um, back to knowing how to get to the ER entrance, um, your nearest emergency department, literally the emergency department. So say you're on your way home from work, why not, you know, take a couple of minutes and actually try to get to the entrance of the emergency uh, department, you know, when you're, when you don't really need it, you know, so you can make all your little mistakes, you know, driving through the, you know, around the parking lots and, you know, having to ask security and all that stuff. Uh, that way you get that out of the way for when you really need to get there quickly. Uh, another thing is, hi, Dr. Charlotte. Hi, Dr. Charlotte. Thanks for coming in. Dr. Charlotte um, is a, she's a ophthalmologist, and she uh, wrote a book that helps doctors document better, so that we can get better um, better compensation. Uh, and that's something that all doctors can learn from. She's this is a doctor teaching doctors. So, uh, so. 
All right, so you got your, your route down to your, you know, the entrance to the emergency room. Another thing is have your, um, have your things ready, like your ID and your insurance. It is amazing how many people, or I should say when people show up to the emergency department and the first thing that we're going to ask you, not the doctors, but uh, the administrative assistants, the unit secretaries or registration rather, they're going to ask you for your ID and your insurance card. And uh, that will delay you. Uh, that can delay you. And, you know, and if you can't find it or if you don't know what your status is, you don't know what your coverage status is. Uh, hi, cousin Stanley. That's my cousin from D.C. Uh, if you don't know what your insurance status is, like, you know, are you still covered? How much is an ER copay versus an urgent care copay, things like that. If those things um, come as a surprise to you when you show up at the emergency department, you're already starting off on a bad foot. You're, you're frustrated. You're like, oh, man, I didn't know that, you know, my ER copay was $250 or something like that. Like, um, you know, you really want to get get that stuff out of the way know how to get there and know what your insurance status is if you're covered and what your copay is you know so you know what to expect and i don't want to give too much away but um let's see yes thank you dr tanya thanks for putting the the website in there, it's the um, www.helpushelpyoubook.com. That's for your autographed hard copy of the book. And the ebook will be, um, the hard copy is going to take, uh, it might take a little while to, uh, to come, but the ebook will be readily available to you on Friday. So again, Friday is the book launch at 12 p.m., 12 p.m. Central Time. So that's 1 p.m. DC time. Okay, and that's uh, 10 a.m. L.A. time for my friends in L.A. So yeah, 12 noon, 12 noon is gonna be is gonna be fun, and we'll get to we'll get to share, we'll get to talk, and you'll find out more about my book. So I didn't want to uh, take too much time with you guys. I appreciate you uh, coming in, you know, so late at night where we should be getting rest. Um, you guys are the best. Hi, Dr. Salika. Hi, Dr. Salika. Dr. Salika went to Hopkins and we just, we missed each other. She was going out as I was coming in, but uh, we're part of the JHU family. Hi, Dr. Salika. Thank you for coming in. And um, yeah, so launch day is almost here. Please check out my book. Uh, find out more about me at www.helpushelpyoubook.com and uh, hit me up if you would like a special treat, a special uh, video from me. It's on tips to survive five medical emergencies. So again, this is Dr. Kadisha, your board-certified emergency medicine physician. Please follow me on Instagram at Dr. Kadisha MD. That's D-R-K-A-D-I-S-H-A-M-D on Instagram. Um, my uh, the launch is going to be from my Dr. Kadisha MD uh, Facebook page, and you can follow me on Twitter as well. And you can check out my website uh, that has some really cool pictures and information. That's also www.drkadisha md.com. Uh, sweet dreams, everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll probably have a new hairstyle tomorrow. Bye. Good night.